this is Kelsey with Kelsey Freeman Photography and I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit this picture right here um, using the new Arden collection. These are the new brown actions I've been working on and um, so let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here with a base action. You want to run this first just to give it the overall look that you're going for. Um, and uh, some of these will flatten your picture, but it will tell you before so that it's going to flatten it. Um, so I always suggest starting off with your base action and then adding things on on top of there. So I am actually going to use Drift. And all you do is you click on the action, and then you come down here and you press play. And you see this pops up, and it let me know this is one of those actions that will flatten my picture. Um, so it's just letting you know in case you've already done some edits and you don't want to flatten it it'll warn you. Um, so you can press stop if you don't want to run it yet. Um, but I'm going to press continue and it's going to do all the work for me and then you'll see we'll have this great uh, beginning action. I just love the tones that we've got going on here. Um, I do want to adjust the opacity a little bit. I actually want to raise the opacity. Um, so I'm going to bump it up a good bit right about there and um, I always like to adjust the opacities I may want to raise it or lower it just depending every picture is different um, and tones can look different on each picture so you just want to use your opacity sliders to um, make it look exactly how you want it to um, and then I'm going to come on down here to the tone add-ons and we're going to start um, actually you know what before we do that I kind of want to brighten up the shadows a little bit before I do anything else um, some of the shadows did get a little dark here so, before we do tone add-ons, let's scroll down. Um, you see all the way at the bottom we have the extras section, and there's just obviously a bunch of extra stuff you can do here. Um, so, I'm actually going to do brighten the shadows and press play, and um, it did brighten them um, nicely, maybe a little much for me, so I'm just going to lower them a tad. And uh, while we're down here, I'm going to go ahead and pop out the color a little bit. So we're going to run color pop and press play. Um, and I like that opacity. I think that is great and it lightens it up a whole bunch. Um, and then let's see. Let's also do contrast pop um, for uh, obvious reasons. <laughs> um, as far as the opacity, I'm going to lower it just a little bit. Um, it was a little too much for my liking. And then I'm also going to do one more thing while we're down here. I feel like the picture is a little bit on the green side, so I'm going to click less green, more magenta, and press play. Um, but this is definitely too much opacity, so we're going to lower this. Let's go maybe right around there or so. Okay, so now I'm really happy with how this looks. This so far looks so much better than it did, um, but there's more I want to do to it. So Let's go on up back to the tone add-ons, and let's see what I'm going to start with. I think I'm going to do, let's do Raven, and I'm going to press play. This is a nice brown. Um, it's not too warm, not too cool. It's just a really nice neutral kind of brown, but I'm going to lower the opacity right about there, and then I'm also going to do Wither. I'm just going to soften it up a bit. So I really like that. It adds some really pretty tones to it, but I'm going to lower this opacity down a good bit. Um, this looks awesome. Okay, so let's go on down. Let's brush on some actions um, just to really add some uh, character to the picture. So I'm going to go to my brush on effects section and I'm going to start with brush on dark green and press play and um, a message will pop up and it's just going to let you know what to do and how to brush it on. So um, the idea is I'm going to be using a really large paintbrush with a really soft edge. There's going to be no hardness to the edge, so it just feathers out really nicely. Um, and we're going to be able to brush it on wherever we want. So you see I'm selected on the black layer mask. And the action, when it runs, it's going to automatically select the black layer mask. So you really don't have to worry about um, touching anything there. All you have to do is click your paintbrush. Make sure you have a white color to brush on the black square. Um, and as far as the size and hardness, you see the hardness is at zero. You want it to be really soft for something like this so you don't have a harsh edge. See, if I had a harsh edge and I tried to brush, actually, let me make it even harder just so you can really see. Um, you see the lines, right? That does not look good. So when you have 0% hardness and you brush it on, it's just very soft and feathered. Um, okay, so uh, I'm going to 
up my size a little bit here. And um, what we're going to do is we're just going to brush this on like where the greens are. Um, so I'm going to start over here and brush there. But I'm going to make it smaller. I don't want to brush green over where the sun is coming in. So I'm just going to make my brush smaller so I can kind of brush all through here like that. And then I'm going to make it bigger again so I can tackle this whole area like so. Um, and it looks pretty good, nice and dramatic. But you do see, if you look over here on the girl, um, because I used a really big paintbrush and it was really soft edges, there was some overflow um, that brushed onto her. It is a super easy fix to get rid of um, the green that I brushed on here. All we're going to do is switch our colors um, from white to black. And I'm actually going to up my opacity to 100. That way I'm 100% taking the green off of her. So I'm going to make it smaller. And you see now I'm brushing on top of her. And I'm taking all of that green off because I've got 100% opacity. Um, and I'm just going to be removing all of this from her. Um, you know, when you're using a brush that large, that soft, that close to people, I mean, it's just to be expected that you are going to have some fall off there that's going to um, brush onto your subject. So just totally fine, easy fix, you see. Okay, so now we're going to do another brush on effect. We're going to do brush on dark brown this time. Again, the message will pop up letting you know what to do. Um, again, so we're just going to get a paintbrush and make sure it's white. And I'm going to have a really, really large brush, or maybe actually not quite that big. Um, and as far as my opacity goes, I'm going to have it around 60. Now that's for my liking. You may want your opacity lower on your brush when you do your actions. Um, it just depends what your style is. So I'm going to just kind of come from around the side and come uh, all the way around like so, all the way around the bottom. And I'm not letting go of my mouse. If I did and I kept reapplying um, it would it would turn out darker um, because my opacity is only at 61 percent right now so um, if I were to let go of my mouse and keep clicking then it would uh, you see how it's darkening even more when I uh, let go of my mouse and uh, brushed it on again um, so I didn't want to do that that time I just one solid swift motion around now I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did um, I'm going to use a black brush and 100 percent opacity just so I can go through and make sure that I haven't brushed on um, their bodies too much. So I'm going to get rid of some of this darkness on her feet and his feet and his legs. There we go. So that's pretty good right about there. All right. Perfect. And then I'm going to do one more. <laughs> uh, I really love brush on effects, you guys. They make such the biggest difference. Like, go ahead and look and see what that already has done, just those two layers. Um, I'm, you know what? And I see a little bit of uh, darkness over here that I don't want right there. And it's on the green layer. So I'm actually going to get rid of a little bit of that that's right there on the brown uh, ground as well from that green. Okay. So, um, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to brush on a soft brown just to add a really nice swoony kind of um, dreamy brown on the bottom. Um, and so we're going to, again, use a white paint brush, make it pretty large. I'm going to have my opacity around 60. And then I'm just going to come from the sides and just so whoop around like so and that just makes it really soft i'm actually going to lower the opacity of the overall layer a little bit um that was a little too much uh, brown for me okay much better so um let me show you the before and after so far big big difference right um okay and then let's add on some suns here we've got a nice light source i really want to enhance it so I'm going to come over to my light add-ons. Um, it's really dreamy looking how the light's coming through, but I definitely want like a big thing of light coming through. So I'm going to use Vivid Sun and press play. And when it runs, um, it's going to be totally movable, so you can move it, I mean, wherever you want. I'm going to bring it up here, and I don't want it to be like right here. You know, see the center of the sun is kind of where my mouse is right now. Um, you want to make sure that, you know, I'm not having the center of my sun right here. That's not how it would look in a picture. So I'm just going to kind of have it falling off um, from the sky. So I think maybe, I don't know, maybe right around there is pretty good. It's a nice solid area of light. I might even bring it down just a tad more. 
like that. Um, and I'm going to use my layer mask here to brush off because I did get some sun on the dad's face. And um, I want to take that off because I don't really like the color that it put on his face. So really simple way to take it off. Just make sure you clicked on your, your layer mask. It's that little white square. Grab a paintbrush. And you want to use the opposite color to brush on the picture. And it'll, um, it'll basically hide parts of that layer that you're seeing. So I'm going to use a black paintbrush since my layer mask is white. I'm going to use a black paintbrush to hide it. I'm going to raise my opacity all the way to 100 so that I'm completely removing um, all that color off of his face. And I'm going to kind of just come over here, get make sure that I've got like his arms and mom's head. I think that's pretty good. So um, I am going to lower the opacity of this entire layer a little bit maybe right about there. And then one more thing I want to do light-wise, um, I really love how much sun is coming through, so I'm going to um, play off that a little bit more, and I'm actually going to run Little Vivid Sun. It's the same color sun, it's just smaller, and I'm going to plop this guy right up there at the top just to really bring out some more of that light um, from the center there. Perfect. Um, I'm going to lower the opacity of the Vivid Sun a little bit more. There we go. I don't want it to be too crazy dramatic. Um, okay, perfect. So I think there's something else I want to do. Right here, you see there's a reflection of the light uh, in this puddle. And I really want to bring that out because I did enhance the sun here. So I want to enhance the sun in the puddle as well. So I'm going to come on down here to brush on effects. And I'm going to click on brush on soft light and press play. Um, and again, it lets you know what to do. So I'm going to grab my paintbrush. I'm just going to have it, I'm going to have it pretty small since I'm not working with a big space here. I want to make sure I'm using a white paintbrush. And my opacity, um, I'm going to have kind of low. And I'm just going to brush it on in this puddle. A little bit more in the center, like so. And voila, we have a nice uh, reflection of light going on there. Um, well, let me get rid of that. Um, and then I think one last thing I want to do, I want to add a little bit more of an orange color. Um, so in the color fixes, you've got um, three different options for each color. You have orange lighten, orange contrast, and orange darken. So I'm going to click on orange darken and press play. Now, it's a little too much, a little too orange and dark for me. So I'm just going to lower this opacity right about there. And I love the mood that it gives. This is a little bit of a sad picture. Um, Puppy dog is um, getting up there in age, and so mom wanted to, you know, have some pictures with pepperoni, so uh, they'll have memories um, for, you know, when his time comes. So this was just such a heartbreaking picture, but I just love it. So anyway, here is the before and the after. Um, it's really warm, goldeny, um, and a little moody. So. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this edit. Um, these actions are super fun to work with. I just love the brown tones. And um, don't forget to play, you know, play around with you know, the opacities. And don't be afraid to add on and stack and stack and use more than one thing. You see I've used a lot here. But um, I just love the outcome when I use a lot of actions. Um, it really just enhances it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.